Okay. All right, today we're going to be talking mostly about some body work, prehab, rehab, uh, kind of all the various things that I do as I'm getting older to keep me competitive in the sport and keep my body working the way I need it to. Um, so we're going to get into all that stuff, pre-training, post-training, um, little kind of tidbits and tips that I might have. So stay tuned and we'll get into it. All right, so what do you got going on here? So most mornings... These days, we kind of sit down and have breakfast, and then once breakfast is done, um, I try to do most of my like joint warm up, little bits of mobility before I even leave home. It gives me some more time to kind of spend some time with Owen and you know take a shift and let Michelle sleep in a little bit, um, and it also keeps my warm up a little bit shorter and sharper when I do get to the gym, so it shortens my sessions a little bit that way. So today I got to do a bunch of overhead stuff to start, some pulling, pushing. So I'm mostly just trying to open up my upper back, my shoulders, and just do it kind of lazy, play around with the one on the floor, and uh, just slowly get a little bit of work done. So nothing too crazy, pretty casual, but try to get a little bit of a routine in every morning. Um, just make it a habit, you know? Lazy morning, Ollie? Lazy rain morning. <laughs> He makes it hard on me sometimes. Hard to get work done when he's climbing all over you. <laughs> he's in like monster mode right now. No, always. What's going on? He likes to play with all my toys. Oh, thank you, sir. What's the thought process here? Um, mostly, you know, I've been having my right shoulder has been kind of off and on an issue for years from gymnastics and stuff. So I spend a lot of time working on that for my overhead positions and like dead hanging positions just to relax those things a little bit. Um, so rotation in the arm is actually really important when it comes to really good overhead positions, internal and external rotation. I try to just warm up that stuff, helps take stress off the elbow, you know, take some stress off my shoulder, move my shoulder blade a little nicer. So I just try to like slowly and gently tap into those things because in general, once I get to the gym, I feel like my sense of urgency sort of increases and I don't want to spend 30 minutes gently tapping into positions. I will start to just like ram my body into positions, <laughs> which I recognize isn't good. So this is like the time that I can set aside in a day to, to be kinder to my body. So that's sort of the idea is that if I'm going to do some passive stretching, do some gentle like joint by joint warm up stuff, I can do that now and like hang out with Owen and like be at home. Uh, as opposed to just, you know, committing an extra hour of my day at the gym to be, to just like, you know, moving slow. Um, I try to make my gym sessions as effective as I can. And that's a big part of it. I think that was a couple comments on the, the last video it was like, Oh wait, you even warmed up. I'm getting better. I, I have with, with age comes wisdom and I have uh. certainly been getting better in the last year, year and a half. Uh. I think it's just, you know, at a certain point, it's not worth fighting it anymore. Yeah. Like you got to recognize that it's things that you need to do for years. I could kind of get away with it because I had quite a high baseline, but it's just not like the case anymore. You know, I'm not, I, I won't recover overnight from uh, something that I did stupid that I did. So, you know, it just takes a little bit more time and effort. Um, and that's the thing is I just have lots of other things in my life. So when I can try to mix things or multitask a little bit, um, it just helps. It helps the household flow a little nicer and uh, keep things on track. So like this morning, Michelle went to the gym to do a class and I'm hanging with Owen while I do my, my mini warm up, my prehab. And then I'm going to meet her there, do the baby handoff, and then I'll start training. And when she finishes, she'll come home with him, put him down for a nap. And then hopefully we'll be only, you know, two to three hours at the gym after that. Uh, and then call it a day. So lots of shoulder work today. Yeah, in general too. That's something that I've like isolated as like something I need to put more work into. Um, a lot of like shoulder. I have some recurring shoulder issues and some recurring like low back or some knee issues. So 
those things you just want to stay on top of, not just kind of deal with them when they cause a problem. So, yeah, this is a good time of day to like, uh oh, incoming. Uh oh, speed racers coming in. <laughs> Fly by? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something to say? So, Mr. Owen, uh, how's your day going? <laughs> Never mind. I'm out of here. Um, but yeah, the mornings are good for like general warm up stuff, and then I'll get into like movement specific Ow. things once I get to the gym. Ow. Hey, bud. Owen teaches me how to be flexible like a baby. Take notes. I wish. You want the ball? Okay, you can have the ball back. There you go. Oh. And Ollie's just over here not having it right now. He's chilling, man. It's a rainy day. Yeah. He can tell he's going to be laying on the couch a lot today. Maybe we'll send him to daycare today. Sometimes when it's really rainy out, we put him in doggy daycare and he gets to play with all his buds. How's he with other dogs? He's really good. Sometimes, I feel like lately, really young, like puppies, he's gotten weird with, I don't know if he's he's sensing that he's starting to get a little older, and he's not the, you know, the young pup on the block these days, but sometimes, like, you know, puppies will come at him with their high energy, and he just gets, like, I don't know, crotchety and weird about it. <laughs> Is there enough he's, babies in my life right now? Yeah, maybe that's it. Not you too. But he, uh, he's pretty good. They actually have a great, like, they have, like, a webcam live stream that you can watch at Doggy Daycare between certain hours. So you can, like, tune in when you put him there and see if he's, if he's playing and having fun. Oh, Owen got stuck under a chair. <laughs> I think reinforcing your joints in as many different positions and directions as you can is never a bad idea. Yeah. So that's like a little bit of skill work. It's a lot of just like balance and core and stability, but I think it's just good exposure to different positions. Um, especially rings that are open chain that you've got to control. Yeah. Any stuff on rings is good. People should do more ring work probably, myself included. But I don't do a lot of that, but it's nice. So today's got a lot of stuff like that. Like it's a higher volume day. I had a high, high intensity day yesterday. So today's got it's got volume, but in a way that's kind of smart and, you know, it's geared towards keeping your body strong and safe. Yeah. A lot of things that are like, you know, box jumps with step downs or like I have step ups and things like that. That's going to still give you some tensile strength through the tendon, still some work on the legs, but not as much impact, which is good. I think it's beneficial to work like that sometimes, just keep the impact down. Uh, and give your body a chance to catch up and recover. Yeah. And again, like I said, when you get a little older, like those, having more of those days mixed in is, is probably smart. Um, you can still get your intensity a few days a week, but having some sessions built in that aren't for maximum output, like just doing damage uh, is smart, right? Yeah, and I, we've spoken about that with Michelle before, <laughs> that she's incorporated that. And I think that's like outside of the norm in CrossFit quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, CrossFit's got a lot of this ethos that's like, you just you just run into the wall as hard as you can, right? And you just, everything you do, you go as hard as you can. And in the last few years, we've seen a little more nuance trickle in, where it's not necessarily about going as hard as you can all of the time on all of the things. Like, sure, in competition, you I mean, you've got to put your best effort in, but even something as simple as, like, going as hard as you can in round one, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be your best, you know, your best strategy for an overall better performance. So, and in training, like some pieces are meant to be hard and fast and high intensity, and some are not. And I think we're starting to understand more and more that you need those pieces. And I mean, it comes from other sports. Like other sports, people have been training for a long, long time, and it's you know, the science is settled in some ways that there are things that you need to do. Um, and I think it's just for overall body care, we train a lot and we, you know, nowadays we compete kind of year round. So when you don't have those full, full long off seasons, like you need to find ways to 
treat your body right in the meantime. So I think it's just smart and it's healthy. See the other that one. scab off. Oh, yeah. Good times. There's always something. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Join Deck of Cops. <laughs> Actually, are so sore. Oh, just the, the aftermath of yesterday's training? Yeah. God. It's like worse. I don't know. Maybe not worse. It's about exactly what I expected. <laughs> I feel like when they hurt, like, same day, before you even leave the gym, yeah. you know the doms are going to be legit. Oh, I'm just trying to do the body some good after doubling up my session there. I usually I'll try to do either, if, it, if it's not busy, I'll stay at the gym and do a little bit of body work there, but... If not, I'll come home and roll at the mats and get a good stretch in, do some Ramwad, and usually add on a little bit of extra stuff. Um, but yeah, just try to calm the system down, spend a little more time cooling down and actually stretching. Uh, I'm trying to get more into the habit. <laughs> Sometimes I have to hide out in here to get away from uh, from Owen and the chaos inside. But because he doesn't really leave me alone if I try to stretch in there, he'll just be climbing all over me. But yeah, it's good. Uh, it's nice now, at least in the spring and summer, it starts to get a little warmer in here. In the winter, I'd have to be fully decked out. It's pretty cold in this garage. Too. So it's nice. Now it's getting, I have my own little space in here where I can hide out, do my rehab and prehab and stretch if I need to. But yeah, it's kind of just trying to build the habits. So are you pretty good about being consistent with stretching and cooling down or is it, does it take time? I kind of go in waves, honestly. Sometimes I'm better than others. Um, you know, it's it takes one thing in you know just our normal life that kind of things get chaotic for a week or so, and you, and you have to rush through some things or let things slide, and then it takes you another week to get back into the routine. So I'm sure everybody struggles with the same things. Like it's my job, and I some days I'm not as diligent as I should be. Um, but. A lot of it is just like, I try to do a lot at night sometimes when my training sessions are later. And if I've kind of brushed it to the side, but I'm going to sit and watch TV at night, I might as well just roll the mat out and watch TV and do a little bit of something. Yeah. Um, do a little bit of rehab or something while I'm doing it and be productive. But it is hard. I feel like often I'm not as good as I should be immediately following a, a session, cooling down and stretching right away. Because I'm usually trying to get home to you know, relieve Michelle with the baby or help out a little bit or whatever. Just just get the hell out of the gym, to be honest. Sometimes I spend too many hours there and you're just happy to leave. Um, and then once you're home, it's just easy to sink into other things. So it's nice to just try to make it part of a routine. Lately, the, the kind of nighttime routine, once we put the baby down, I'll have a stretch and we'll watch TV or do something and then go to sleep, um, has worked pretty well. But... Now that it's getting nicer out, I feel like I can spend some time outside or it's like out in the mornings or in the afternoon and actually do it. Mm -hmm. um, and now that Owen can kind of crawl around outside, it's like kind of nice to get some outdoor time and just chill. So it just changes depending on the time of year, depending on what's going on. It's never perfect, but 
Also, if I'm particularly sore, I'm better at doing it because nothing mo <laughs> nothing motivates you like actual pain. <laughs> so it's a, it's a pretty potent reminder. But, you know, we do what we can. Nice. All right, gang. That's kind of uh, that's kind of it. That's some of the things that I do on a daily basis to try to keep my body feeling healthy and keep me competing well into my 30s and being competitive against all these young guys. So, um, you know, take some of that with a grain of salt because it's just what works for me. But uh, I do think that spending some time changing your intention away from high, high intensity occasionally um, and taking some time to treat your body nice does wonders in the long term. So good luck, everybody. Keep yourselves healthy and uh, stay fit.